So welcome to the fourth video in building the weekend. So this is what you're supposed to have now. So we have the base frame, we have done the XY gantry, and we've done the Y carriers. And we want to add the X axis and the, the X idler brackets and the X idlers. So we want to achieve what you just saw, this one. And this one and uh, that one. So let's have a look at those parts. And uh, what, we'll, what we will do is let's go to the animation studio. Um, we want to have a look at these parts first. So you need the the uh, we slot. This is supposed to be four hundred and eighty millimeters. And what, what we're going to do is we're going to print uh, this part and then we're going to assemble it, the idlers and uh, everything, and then we're going to slide it in this way. So that's quite important. So let's have a look at uh, printing first. Uh, let me just open Cura because that was not done. Let me just talk about the other side, uh, not that one, uh, Exiler, this one. So, yeah. so this is uh, the same bracket, but it uh, the idlers are different, so we need to do those uh, in uh, two different ways, as you can see. So let me just talk about that. <coughs> First, uh, queue up and uh, open the go to part print files, xy part files, and then uh, squish, let me see, uh, 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 idler x bracket and spacer. We need the spacer as well. So it drops in like this, and you want to turn it on. Uh, on the side, uh, so let me turn it 90 degrees this way, and the same with the spacer. So let's turn that and let's slice it. With we need support everywhere, and we need some brim for the uh, spacer. And also, it's also like always good to have some brim for the support when you have tiny support like this. So this is, this is what you're supposed to have and just print two of these guys. Okay, so this is the, the bracket that is uh, closest to x0, which is this one. And uh, let me just move the components outside first. So let's pick you know the, um, the idlers first, then the shims and the spacer like this, and then the screw bolts. These are hexagon M5 by 35 millimeters bolts. And then we have the washers and the lock nuts again. Lock nuts. Okay, so we just printed this guy and then it's the same uh, on the other side. And first we want to slide in the shim, like that, and then the idler with teeth, the toothed idler on that side, and then the spacer and the shim on this side, then the smooth idler like this, and then the bolts, and the rest of the parts, nuts and washers, like this, there you go. And let's just have a look at what is different from uh, the other side, where x is max, the, we just have a look at x mean, so this is x max. 
So, uh, and that guy will mount like this. So, let's just do the spacers and idlers first. So, yeah. So, those are going like this. And then the smooth. No, sorry, the toothed either are going up top. Not like before, we have toothed on the bottom. Now, on the far side, we have toothed on top. So that's different. And we have the smooth, smooth one down below. So, and then, of course, the nuts and the bolts, like this. So this is the far side, this is x max, and this is x mean. And they are going to look like this, if you've done everything right. And you need to slide them inside. But first of all, just slide in this guy, the x mean. So you want the x mean inside, and you want to save this for later, after we, we have done the x carrier. So just save that one, just assemble it. Then you can slide it in later when we have uh, we need to slide on the X carrier first. So yeah, that's what you want to do. So that's basically everything I want to go through today. Uh, you can always you know mount it. You can attach it to uh, the X Y gantry or to the Y carriers if you want to. Just uh, you know slide it around and get a feel for it. Because you can just uh, use one screw to uh, to attach it and uh, yeah, slide it around just to get a feel. So yeah, again, thanks for watching. Hope this is not too boring. Have a good one.